What's up my friend, today I'm going to show you how to recover a file using the backup feature within Pro Tools. If, if you've ever deleted something on accident and the undo feature did not work for you, then the backup feature might be your savior. This will bring you back to a place where you're able to recover files, recover settings, and basically bring you back in time so you're able to start again where you left off. What's up? I'm Macro from Mixing with Macro. I'm a professional recording and mixing engineer. I've done recording and mixing for major record labels and many independent artists. And my goal is to help you streamline your recording and your mixing process for fast and consistent results. And in my description, I've prepared a tool that will have your back for a stream ready mix in less than 30 minutes. Now, if you've ever wondered what plugins you should be using, what's the plugin chain, what's the order of things, which settings you should be putting on your plugins to get the right sound out of your vocals, then this cheat sheet has everything. I promise I did not hold anything back. So go ahead and check it out. Now, let me show you how to recover a backup in Pro Tools. All right, let me show you how to save a life with backups. All right, session file backups. Now, Pro Tools has this brilliant feature, very, very brilliant feature that it automatically saves your sessions periodically, save your session file periodically. So for instance, let's just say you deleted an audio, a piece of audio, and you weren't even expecting to need it in the future, but you couldn't undo what you deleted, then a good thing to do is to use a session backup. So I have a record here that I recorded myself and in here is all my session backup. So we could see here, I recorded this record on the 29th of March and in here you see all the session backups that happened on that day now you can see periodically if you look at the the time every five minutes or so pro tools actually backed up the session five to ten minutes all right so let's just open this file and i have a backup of this session so don't worry if i'm going to be deleting anything permanently so i have this session here hey that money i'm old they like damn what you did but the main thing about this video is the backups, okay? So let's just say I deleted this bit of audio right here, like this entire bit of audio. Look at all that audio right there, all right? Boom, it's gone. Finito is gone in the dust. It's not inside of our folders here. It's not inside of our clips or anything. We can't find it at all, right? Even if we try to undo, we couldn't even undo it, okay? Let's just save. We couldn't even undo it, right? What we would then do, we would right click on this file, we would go back to the folder macro, and then we would go into our session backup, all right? Then we're gonna find all the backups right here. So the highest number is the latest backup. This is June 18th, all right? And let's just go back here. Don't save this session, right? Now look at the life saving capabilities of Pro Tools at this moment. Let's just say you're in a high pressure situation, you're working with a big giant artist, and you are like, yo, this song is sounding amazing. The vibe is good, all of that, right? And you're looking to have this, you're looking to have a, a nice listening party in the studio, right? And then you play one of your sessions and a file is missing of the artists that they just recorded. And there's no way the artist could recreate that recording the, exactly the way they did it before because it was in the moment. We open it up. Now you can see that the recording is here. Here's the recording. The file is still in the audio files folder, which is perfect. It's in the audio files folder. But we don't know what it's called. We don't know. We don't want to go through all that trouble. Let's just say you got to find it. You got to find it quick. Here's the file right here. I got what I want. Okay, so that's it, right? Now, let's just say the scenario is that you've already did some more editing after this point. So remember, we, we got this out of the recovery, right? We did it after. Let's just say we were on june 18th doing some more stuff to it and 
we added some more effects we as we don't want to use this session because we would have undid all of our work all we want is this file back the way it was in the exact spot that it was before now that we know where the file is at we know the file is right here what i would do is then go back into the file let's go into our file here i'm going to just jump back into the original file where we deleted that piece of audio all right and this is the file that the audio is missing right one trick is that we probably could drag this out that that would be fine but let's just pretend that we couldn't even drag it out a separate piece of audio but you know because I've, I've i've been there i've been in a session before anyway and so we're we're playing we're playing and we hear and everybody in the studio just starts looking at each other like wait wait wait, where's the vocal now all you got to do is go to file and you're going to do import what you're going to do is import session data all right so it's option shift i so you hit import session data you want to go to session file backups and let's find a file which is the 11th right june 18th and we're going to replace it you could track lead two all right so it goes on track lead two we replace it and then the option the important option is having audio media settings audio media options it's linked to source media where possible all right so it's going to link the source media and then you hit okay and there's our file all right we got a file back and it's in our latest session now you want to save it you save it boom now you play it again you got the file back in your latest setting inside of your latest session file with all your latest tweaks to your mix and that's how you save a session with file backup all right now i'm going to show you exactly how to set up this feature if you don't have it already installed and how to set the periods of how the backup should operate so first you got to go into pro tools preferences you're going to go into operation and then you're going to see auto backup so if you don't have it enabled enable it boom enable it keep 10 most recent backups the most recent backups anything past 10 delete the rest past 10 all right and back up every five minutes okay so that's how i got it set and you know it's a freaking lifesaver it is a lifesaver i'm not gonna hold you it is a life saver all right so that is it my friend turn on that setting there and make sure that you are on point every time you need to get your music done i'll see you next and that is how you recover a backup in pro tools i hope this video just saved someone's life trust me it saved my life countless times and i love this feature within pro tools that allows you to revert time and go into the past and just rewind the clock so you can pull out the things that you were looking to find now i hope you can mix in such a way where you do not have to use this feature but if ever you had to use this feature this is the way to do it so go ahead and make some amazing music and remember the five step cheat sheet that's in the description that has all my entire process to take you to a stream ready song in less than 30 minutes is there to help you on your music journey so make sure to go ahead and check it out and i will see you in the next video peace